Second episode. I can't wait for the one character to be introduced. Once there was a storyteller, it was the perfect strike. Famous and devoid of emotion. After that, Good for I you. To duplicate. Ooh! Now that was a clean execution. Brilliant work for a woman. For really? She feeling guilty? You're a good swordsman for a woman. Shut the fuck up. If I had a target, you deserved no mercy. Huh. I don't know, is there one? They're all criminals who have caused great harm. Yep. Be quiet. <laughs> we brought you here to give special orders. You will travel to Shinsuku and return with the legendary elixir of life in hand. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. Is to be rewarded with an official pardon. Who's the big guy in this back? Is the certificate that you will receive. You're showing us, but we can't see. <laughs> What's the purpose? He would be me in that situation. <laughs> I just, I can't. You're scrawnier and more wretched looking than the rulers say. Not to mention, excuse you. Caught. This isn't well pictured at all. Sorry to let you down. Oh. This man was the only sergeant to return to us alive from the previous expedition. Alive? You can see, he has lost his humanity. Oh. You don't look alive. When he reached home, his body was covered with bumps. And the next day, they began to bloom. The remaining 60 members of the expedition are still missing. The last of us. <laughs> the last of us. He looked. But considering he's our only source of information, we don't have any clue as to what took place on the island. I think he was infected by something, and then now he's growing flowers out of his eyes and neck. I can't think of a more mystical device. And I doubt you lot are worthy of such a fate. You don't know anything about this place, right? What happens if the elixir's not even there? Exactly! Does it still count if you come back empty-handed? They've got excuses for everything. If you don't not excuses. Offer, you refuse to Questions. No one's forcing you. Good! Still think gives me the creeps. Yeah. I'm gonna die and rather rot in jail with the men. Oh. One more thing I forgot to mention. Upon your arrival at the island, you'll be assigned monitors. What? The this, I feel like, is a fucking ripoff. If you're out of line at any point on this mission, you will be decapitated on the spot. The esteemed Yamada Asaiman will be serving as your monitors. And knowing that they're from the Yamada clan, I'd be on my best behavior, lest you suffer the same fate as he did. You'll be beheaded if your monitor dies. That part. Regardless of whether their death was by accident or homicide. If your monitor is not with you when the group departs, you'll be left behind. That is a fucking ripoff. So you have to be a protector, finding this fucking elixir, and behave... All at the same time. Very stupid. So we would like you to narrow down the list of candidates for us. Narrow down? You're a bunch of idiots. Here he is. You just want us to trim the fat a little bit, don't you? He looks a lot like Bakugo. What are you doing? That can't be what they're asking us to yeah. Then why aren't they saying it? Oh my god! <laughs> Untie your hands. Dude, this is messed up. Ah! 
Ow! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ow! I don't know what his name is with the Bakugo attitude and haircut, but I like him. This is entertainment in this day and age. It's rare to witness a battle to the death, and this is a bloodbath. <laughs> I've always dreamed of seeing one. You're this insane. What purpose could such a thing possibly serve? This is no way to judge their abilities. Their hands are tied. Oh God! The eyes! I can't. And the ones who survive will be useless. Not the eyes. Anything but the eyes. Oh right. Anything. Well, of all these criminals, the most famous one here is Gabimaru the Hollow. Observe, sir. Wait. What's this? He hasn't moved at all. No. What's he doing? <laughs> Enjoy a quiet life in the mansion. Far away from the fate of an executioner. With all due respect, I couldn't. Given the choice I would have, Izendono. And the Yamada clan, even if you never pick up a sword, your living is made on people's deaths. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ow! I would love to learn how to sword fight. That shit, to me, oh, it's just so, so cool. I'll discover for myself what my fate is going to be. Come on, baby, you can do it. Or not. Oh, there we go. You, over there. Me? If you can kill this man, then I will permit you to go on the expedition. Huh? That sounds good to me. Y'all are like stupid. Are, oh, wait a second. You guys don't like pointless killing either, do you? It's all about survival, which means that bashing your brains in is what it takes for me to live, then I'm all for it. You can't just dodge. Let's talk this through. He can dodge. You just shut up and die already. Many have tried, many have failed. <gasps> Here we go. If you try to kill me, then you're dead. But you said you didn't want to kill anybody. I don't. And you backed him into a corner. What do you mean? It weighs on me, knowing the burden I'm about to take on. <laughs> <sighs> Shame. Man, this sucks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Doesn't he bite a guy's throw it out? <gasps> Shit. Holy shit. <laughs> you wanted gore. You <laughs> Red Sea. That looks like a Red Sea. I...
Are you all right? You seem upset. I did fear this might be too heavy a task for you. No. I'm fine. I will kill him. I will kick your ass. I will kick everyone's ass. Enough, Stop saying no she's too weak. Oh my god. <laughs> He's still laying there. Succeed and you will be free. There's a flower petal. Do not be afraid. After all, your destination has been called paradise. Heaven. She's in charge. There is no danger. Stupid. That's stupid. There is no danger. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. That's why you're sending criminals instead of your soldiers 